It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back. So, we're going to be talking about a new mechanic in Together for Victory today. We're going to be talking about how you use your subjects as... Uh, you, using them to create divisions to fight for you. So we're going to start in 936. We're going to start as the United Kingdom. And we're going to be playing as the UK and we'll start from here. So the new mechanic allows you to make divisions for other countries using their manpower. But using your resources. So just to recap. So I have the potential with India to create a division template. British Raj. And use this division template which is 18 combat width or the tank one. I think we'll use the infantry one. And then we train them. Simple as that. So what this will do is, I believe it uses maybe 50%, uh, but if you become a, a puppet or an integrated puppet, which at the moment is a colony, it uses less manpower. But So at the moment, what we'll do, uh, let's have a look. Actually, I think it might actually tell us. Let's have a little look. Will it give me an idea? So colony, and it says subject manpower required 70%. Okay, that's interesting. An integrated puppet uses... Oh, it uses 100% if it's a... If it's an integrated puppet. Okay, that's interesting. So 70% is the minimum. You can't do it with a Dominion. Uh, but you can do it with a Colony and a puppet and an integrated puppet. So depending on how integrated they are, depends on how much manpower you can abuse. Interesting. Okay, well that's nice to know. So here you go. So your Colony uses 70%. So a 70% of the manpower will be from India. 30% will be from the UK. And 100% of the actual guns required... And supply used to make this division will be uh, from the UK. So in this case, there you go. It says 900 guns. That will be from the UK. Uh, 2,700 manpower from the UK. And the British Raj is 6,300. So what you're doing right now is you're sponging off your puppets to make lots of free divisions. So for the purpose of this, because we need lots of guns really quickly, we're going to expand all of our divisions. Just for the purpose of this experiment. In the real world, you wouldn't do this, because this would uh, eat into your... It would it'd take longer to train these divisions all over again, which which is not a good idea. Alright, there you go. So we've got lots of guns. We've got extra manpower. So in this circumstance, what we can do is just make lots of guns. Do, 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 do. Where's the guns? Here we go. So we'll get rid of all this rose. There you go. Boom. We'll get lots of shitty old guns. There you go. And then boost them away. And if you look now, they are making the guns for the Indian divisions. And the bonus with this is you get lots and lots of uh, fairly decent divisions and uh, a fraction of the cost. So in this circumstance, you can not use your own manpower. You can always use your own elite troops um, where you can use your puppet to eat away the manpower. This is particularly useful if you want to be Japan and eat off Manchuku. Or if you want to be, um, I don't know, one of the Balkan countries and then eat off the manpower of one of those. Or be Spain and eat off Portugal. It, it works for any subject, really. They have to be either a colony, a puppet, or an integrated puppet. And depending on how integrated they are, depending on how much manpower you can abuse. Remember, if you annex the country, you only get, I think it's 5%, isn't it? Let's have a look. Is, it, is the UK? It'll tell me, won't it? So we can only use... 0.12% of the manpower in this province. In this case, one recruitable population. But if you think about it, India can use 100% of their manpower within their within their well colony in this case because they own it and they, they have cores on it. So when it comes down to it, if you've got a choice between puppeting or annexing, now you've got to think about it. Is a puppet actually going to help you? Think about it. If you were Argentina and you puppeted Brazil, you could abuse it for all the manpower and get lots of free divisions, couldn't you? So, and you could have your own troops as kind of a high production with tanks and mobility. And you could have lots of troops on the front line. So, there's a lot of different ways you can play here. They've, they've nerfed the way Luxembourg works. Because Luxembourg World Conquest is the kind of... Everyone desires it, really. So, what you do now with, with Luxembourg is you potentially could puppet Belgium. And then you could make lots of divisions off Belgium. Not use your own manpower. And that way you can have an absolutely huge army. And you're just little Luxembourg. So... Right now, you have got other options available to you, and you can abuse the puppet system. See if we can spawn these puppets. So there you go, boom. Loads of free ones. Yes, sir. And there you go. Lots and lots of free, well, relatively free troops. 
So if you do have like um, a relatively smaller manpower, or if you're playing as a minor nation, you could just puppet your neighbor and then use or sponge off their manpower, which is going to be really useful. One thing to note though, if you are a smaller nation that hasn't got a lot of production power, making them a puppet might not be the best choice in some cases. Um, yeah, that might not necessarily be the smartest choice, and the reason why is you are... Let me get this. Let me get this sword. Yep. Uh, the reason why is because you're not going to be able to take advantage of the full production, and it'll be difficult to integrate them later because you need to build inside of your puppet uh, like this to actually get them to be your subjects. Be aware as well. I, I <clears throat> I'm not actually 100 sure if just training these divisions inside of India is causing them to gain autonomy. Let's just check that out. Actually, we're building inside them now, so I'm, I'm throwing off the numbers now, aren't I? I'm trying to confuse myself. Let's just take that off. It's just for the purpose of this experiment. So we're building inside of a puppet there, making those factories, and that was causing their autonomy to drop. And let's go here, British Raj. Their autonomy is still going down slightly. I, I'm not sure why. Hmm, I'm not sure why. It might be the fact that we... Giving them guns and giving them supplies, maybe? I'm not sure. But there you go, guys. I mean, literally in May 1936, and I've got an absolute ton of divisions. So what you could do with these divisions as well is if you're playing as Japan, you could use these divisions to hold islands, for instance, or garrison, or just hold a front line. Remember, these troops not might necessarily be very strong, which they technically won't because you've not made the templates, you've not made them as strong as you'd like, but you can just use them for defensive duty, you can use them for garrisons, you can use them for suppression. So potentially you've got, you've got the ability now to tap into a lot of manpower by using puppets. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial video. Remember to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and drop us a comment below of, of how and what nation you would puppet. Yeah, what nation would you puppet, guys? If you had the choice of all the nations, what puppet would you puppet? And what would you use it as your drone army of uh, manpower? Let us know in the comments. Guys, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.